Welcome to the third episode of the Lake Farm Hill Climb. In the first episode, I looked at the most expensive vehicle that I think you should buy, the fast and rugged Quadra Type 66 Javelina. In the second, I looked at one which, unfortunately, you can't buy, the Kaukaz Brats. But early in the game, you're not going to be able to use either of these vehicles. Early in the game, you're only going to be able to afford the cheaper ones. So here is one of the cheaper ones, the Mahia Supron. The Supron is, as you can see, a small, a very small minibus. It has a wheel in each corner, with very little overhang. You might expect that like Alakis Agonis Mini, it would handle quite well. From the front, you can see that it has, like many vehicles in the game, only one headlight. It's not that the left-hand headlight is broken or has fallen out. It was, by design, never there. This one, the only one you can be buy, looks as though it is not quite stock. Some exposed pipework on the left rear and some detailing on the roof is not present on other examples you'll see. The interior though looks as though it is stock. It's simple and bland but functional looking. There doesn't seem to be any room for an engine at the front, so I'm assuming it's rear engine, although the full height rear doors need some explaining in that respect. As soon as we start, we hear wheel spin, and that's an indication of trouble to come. This little bus handles the, as though it had tires made of banana skins running on a road of ice. Apart from that, the engine note is a little harsh, but acceptable for a vehicle of this size and price and the acceleration is quite brisk. Braking is not so good, however, and there isn't enough grip to turn sharp. And now we're on the climb, we'll see just how bad the steering is. The rear end has no grip at all, and that slides wildly. It's extremely easy to get into a fishtail skid. On this second hairpipe pin, I slow down to 13 miles an hour and still have trouble with traction. Then entering the fourth hairpin at around 60, I spin out. Fortunately, that scrubs off speed quickly and I'm able to recover without actually hitting anything solid. I manage it safely round the fifth, but at 20 miles an hour. And then lose grip again, comprehensively, at the top. That, that was fast. I'll admit, that was too fast for this car. It's a bit surprising the car doesn't roll. But in fact, it's extremely hard to roll. It isn't impossible, you can do it, but it's rare. Approaching the last bend onto the lakeside straight, I make the mistake of cutting slightly across loose gravel. And the car again loses grip. This indicates the game is modelling the difference between track and desert, which is quite impressive. So that's the Mahia Supron. It's cheap and it's quite fast, but it's neither elegant nor controllable. Night City! Josh Kevorkin here. And as always, your business is my business. Anyone out there still clinging on to So my rating? NCPD? This one is definitely a miss. <laughs> 